Welcome back to Cinema Magna. In today's video, we will showcase the cast interviews of the 2023 movie, Red, White, and Royal Blue Cast. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. I initially read the script. I thought it was incredibly charming. I thought that there was a lightness to it, but uh, definitely a multi-dimensionalism to Henry that was particularly fascinating. I find the notion of playing someone who is very trapped by circumstance and, and their upbringing uh, to be very interesting to play as an actor. Um, so the script was incredible. And then of course, Matthew Lopez, our director, um, coming off the back of the success of The Inheritance um, was a, a major draw. And, and the fact that he wanted me so early on to play this character um, w was, was definitely one of the, the aspects um, involved in, in, in choosing to pursue the project. Henry is very much the catalyst, I think, in a lot of ways. Uh, two thirds of the movie is told from Alex's perspective and a third is told from, from Henry's. Um, but Alex is a much freer human being and I think the world he lives in is much more accepting of, of who he is as a person, whereas this sort of archaic nature of the institution that Henry is born into and and um, has to present himself in every single day uh, means that it, it's almost impossible for him to be who he is. So the the story moves forward in the sense that that it isn't as simple as them just loving each other. They are not two normal people. Um, and uh, yeah, there, there are, there, loving someone is complicated um, and being who you really are in Henry's world is very complicated. There is very much uh, an enemies to lovers uh, book trope, which I know people love. Um, he, they're both very principled, I think, in their own beliefs. Um, it, it really, the enemies... Uh, um, the feeling of them being enemies was really born out of misunderstanding in a lot of ways. Um, they don't realize that they actually share uh, quite a lot in common. And they, they are very different as people as well. But um, I think the more time they're sort of forced to spend with each other because of the cake incident, uh, that is really the, the catalyst of the, of, of the whole movie. Um, just the more they realize that they are very good for each other in a lot of ways and, and they complement each other in a lot of ways. It's been such a joy working with Taylor and I really couldn't imagine anyone better suited to play Alex. I think the most important thing in casting Alex was to find someone who could really go tete-a-tete -tete with me and, and, and with Henry. Um, this film is, is a two-hander and it's all about the chemistry and, and the banter um, that you can have between the two of them. Um, Taylor's, he, he's such a fun, loving person, is such a joy to be around and, and so much of the filming process for me is about finding a, a uh, acting partner who, who just loves being here as much as I do. And um, uh, I can't say enough good things about him. Matthew is very unlike any other director I've worked with, um, he's extremely ex expressive. Um, he, he has a very set idea about how he wants to do something. Um, and really it's about you trying to bring up a, a better idea than, than what that is. And, 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 and if you can, you know, he's extremely collaborative. Um, and, and I think just extremely knowledgeable about the story he wants to tell, which you really like as an actor. You, you want a director who can, who can guide you and, and shape your performance um, in a lot of ways. Um, I think his experience in theatre uh, very much lent to, to this world that we were, we were making a film about. Um, and apart from anything else, he, he's, he just likes to have a laugh on set too. He likes to have a lot of fun. There was a lot of laughter on this film, which, um, for me is, is just always helps me, I think, do my best work. I think this film is unique in its subject matter. I think it feels very timely. I think it feels very current. I think people will feel very represented in it. I think their genre wise is plenty to like for, for, for different audiences. There is so much humor within this movie. There is so much 
heartbreak within this movie. Um, I think really we have produced a, a very much a spectrum of, of real life um, whilst having the sort of the fantastical and the romantic within it as well. I think movies that, that are able to blend real raw humanity um, whilst at the same time feeling kind of whimsical and romantic as I said um, are just so watchable and I, I, I feel and I hope we have done that. The characters we have in this movie I, I hope can be totem poles for for change um and and can um can act as inspiration um to to a lot of young people watching these films i hope i feel like a lot of young people uh marginalized people will be very seen within this movie um i hope we we do them justice um but i i, I hope it is a portrayal of um an idealistic image of of the U.S. and I, I hope um, I hope it can have a certain resonance with with people. Honestly, the 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 <laughs> the cake dropping scene was probably one of the most fun scenes to film. It was just such a couple days. It was it was. First of all, I, I just love being with um, the rest of the cast. You know, it's it's mostly been Taylor and me throughout the, the entire process. But when you get to, you know, really spend time with your other actors, I think it's just so much fun, the group of us together. But there was there was so much pomp uh, within this this room. We had about 200 extras, everyone dressed to the nines. Um, and just the act of, of this cake falling on top of us is just a very... Uh, bizarre day at work that most people don't get to experience. Um, I'd say um, also doing the polo was a lot of fun. I love riding. I love horses, and, and just being able to to get back on the literal horse was uh, uh, a lot of fun. And um, I think whenever you get to learn a new skill for a job and actually do it yourself on camera, um, it's incredibly gratifying. How did I prepare to play Alex? I watched a lot of West Wing. Like, a lot of the West Wing. Um, Mr. Smith goes to Washington, Sullivan's travels, um, bringing up baby. It happened one night. A lot of old Hollywood um, comedies is what I watched. And, I mean, the West Wing really puts you in the world, you know, because we're here. You know, we're in, we're in the White House right now. Alex has a really big character arc throughout the film. Uh, so he starts as a very immature, privileged chip on his shoulder kind of kid who you know is forced to grow up after this cake incident um and it's really nice to watch him grow throughout you know the you know, two hours or so that we get to watch uh henry and alex be together so he's he's gregarious he's you know wants to be in politics he wants to be his mom he wants to be his dad he just really wants to um wants to prove to the world that he's he is someone Alex and Henry start the relationship at this climate conference in the film. And Alex is kind of snubbed by Henry. So Alex has this, this kind of preconceived notion of him that he's a jerk and he wants nothing to do with him. Whereas Henry had just lost his father and you just didn't want to be in public. So Alex has kind of harbored this resentment toward him. So then when he has to go to the wedding, he doesn't bring his best self. He brings like this 12 year old version of himself who wants to be in competition with Henry. The cake incident happens. And then he has a strict talking to by his father. So after that, when Alec has to fly back and do damage control is when their relationship starts, I would say like the good stuff. Um, Alex realizes that Henry's not this monster that he's thought he was the whole time. Working with Nick has been, has been excellent. Uh, we, We've gone through a lot. You know, we got here a couple weeks early for rehearsals and you know, it's a very intimate movie. So we had to become close very fast and kind of trust each other right away. And and we did. It was um it wasn't hard. It was really just committing to the to the text and trusting our director Matthew. And it's just it's great working with him because I think we have a really good banter on and off screen, which helps our characters uh, when we are acting together. I mean, but we get in a lot of trouble. Like, we really do. We, we get yelled at by our first AD, Ben, a lot, and Matthew will tell us to calm down. Just because as soon as you're out of a scene, you're, like, critiquing each other, critiquing yourself. And I think we're each other's biggest supports in the room um, just because 
we both care so much. I know he cares. I know I care. And we just want to make the best product possible. Uma's great. She really is. She just has this presence when she walks into the room. I was definitely intimidated when I found out who was playing my mom. Uh, just because I am a huge fan, obviously. Like, who isn't? And I didn't know what to expect. And I was pleasantly surprised that she came in and she was so lovely and giving and, you know, wants to connect right away. And, you know, like, whether it was, a, was with a hug, with just touching my hand, talking briefly. You know, we really had a, a short period of time that we were able to, to um, kind of build that relationship for screen. So we had lunch together and we just, you know, she's, she's such a professional. And she makes you feel safe. And, you know, like we really, we, we, there's a few scenes where we go um, like head to head. And she didn't treat me like, like that younger actor. You know, she really treated me just like, you know, like I'm here, to, I'm here to work. You're here to work. Like, let's go. And she did. And like she would improv at me and just, you know, when it was, when the camera was on me for her to, you know, get like a different reaction out of me or like, you know, we would you know, try different stuff throughout. And she just so skilled on a set she knows her lenses she knows her lighting she knows her her marks like she just um she just so she's such a competent actor we were able to have a couple weeks of rehearsals and you know he comes from the theater so and i come from the theater so that's pretty i understand it and i love um being able to try different ways and before you're on set and everyone's staring at you and you know like is this accurate is this not accurate are we are we in the given circumstances are we you know overshooting so it was a, it was a, um, a really trusting time because he told us in the beginning, like you are in control of your characters and your performance. And he's like, and I am in control of directing you. So it's like, I trust you and let's always have a conversation if, if we need to about, you know, something that's not vibing with you and how you think Alex is or how you think Henry is. So that was always kind of freeing to be able to have that conversation. This is an, idealistic piece of cinema and we're seeing two characters in positions of power who have parents who are even have the actual position of power or in Henry's case his grandfather and when you see them accepting these young men as who they are um, it's a beautiful thing and you know it starts at the top and if we can have people at the top of their game, at the top of the world, like literally on top of the world, accepting um, their family for who they are, it will just be able to trickle down throughout everyone in the world. So I think that's, uh, that's the most exciting part of it. This film is creating a great blueprint for families everywhere, uh, especially because you have the first female president of the United States who has a Mexican-American father, and then you have Henry's grandfather who's the king of England. So these are the change makers in the world. These people make law, these people sign bills, and they have the power to make like lasting um, and real change. This film kind of transcends the, the coming out story um I, th I i think matthew really focused a lot and we had lots of conversations about this it was was not focusing on that coming out moment not calling it that and just more of a having a conversation with those that are near and dear to you um so it's less of an event and again like we just start normalizing this in society and like in in the home um so it's unique in that way and I'd also say it's unique because in a lot of LGBTQ plus stories, they're not happy endings. You know, there's usually tragedy involved. And I think that this film kind of subverts that in a way where we think all is lost. But then by the end, uh, we're rooting for these two guys to be together and to be um, kind of like the poster men for what the world can be. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.